What do you do? I'm a dominatrix. Oh, how do you like start like a clientele? Why are you interested? I mean, <laughs> you certainly look interested. Yeah. <laughs> is it that obvious. Yeah, it I mean. is. Hi. What's your name and what's your profession? I'm Ruby and I'm a dominatrix. With that profession, would you classify it under the sex industry? Yeah, I'd classify a lot of things under the sex industry. Like, like what? Anything that has to do with people's sex lives, really. Why would someone want to work with you? To relax and to escape the stresses of reality, really. You're gonna guess who's a virgin or not. Do you think you're gonna be good at this game? I have no idea. Do you want to get them all right? Uh, I mean, I want to learn about other people. Are you ready to meet some people? Absolutely. Hi. Hi. I'm Colin. Hi, Colin. Care to tell me about yourself? Um, I'm a student. That's pretty much all I do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you studying? Psychology and Swedish. What do you do for a living? I'm a dominatrix. Uh, I have a vague idea of what that is, but mm -hmm. can you tell me more? I dominate people. Hence in the name. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Based on you being a student, I'm going to say you might be a virgin. Really? Yeah. Why that? Because being a student is really busy. Are you a virgin? Uh, no. I'm not. When did you lose your virginity? A few months ago. Was it fun? Uh, yeah, it was fun actually. <laughs> I mean, it was like, like a roller coaster is kind of fun, but kind of terrifying at the same yeah. time. You know? Where do you think I should go from here? I would really focus on listening to your partner and asking them what they like. Okay. And if they don't know what they like, exploring with them. Also, if you haven't That's gotten next. the HPV shot, get it. So. I have. Awesome! Yeah. High five! Because <laughs> yeah. you can get cancer in your mouth and your butt. So. At the same time? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Have fun yeah. on you. your sexual adventure. Will, oh, you too. Will do. <laughs> I'm Hi. Ruby. I'm Akira. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. What do you do? I'm a, I'm a dancer, a stripper. Mm -hmm. What about you? I'm a dominatrix. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? I love it. How long have you been doing like sex work for? Well, I've been doing it for a long time. Have you ever been a stripper? I tried one night only and mm -hmm. I was not good at it. Why? <laughs> so I twisted my ankle and fell off the stage. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. That sucks. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? Do you think I'm a virgin? I am going to go with maybe not. I almost feel like it's hypocritical to say because I know many people who are in the sex industry who are virgins. What's your answer? Yeah. I'm a virgin. <laughs> I generalized of my own people. It's terrible. Oh, it's it's okay. I mm -hmm. mean, it makes sense. Most mm -hmm. strippers aren't virgins. Yeah. Um, I'm like a virgin because mm -hmm. intimacy is pretty mm -hmm. uncomfortable for me. Gotcha. And at the very last second, I'll just be like, I don't want to do this anymore. That's probably a bad thing, but because of that, I've never really had a full-on, like, lasting relationship. I think sex work is a really good way of having similar levels of intimacy that you get in relationships. So I think it's really common for people who have intimacy issues to gravitate towards that because it's a way to fill that hole. Yeah. But I think it gets a lot of bad press because of that. Yeah, it was nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you too. I wanted to give you a hug. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Can you tell me about yourself? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'm uh, 22. I am senior at Seattle Pacific University. What do you do? I'm a dominatrix. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> When did you sort of know you wanted to do something like that? When I was really young. When you're tying up Barbies with string, it's kind of a dead giveaway. It's telling, yeah. yeah. How do you like start like a clientele? You just do. But, okay, yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Why, why are you interested? <laughs> you certainly look interested. Yeah. Is it that obvious? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's not something uh, I meet that much at a it's... private Christian university, I'll be yeah, honest. Yeah, that's fair. What's your radar saying? I guess I'm gonna go with no. Not a virgin. I'm not a virgin. Yeah. Okay. But, I mean, you have like some knowledge of something, right? I mean, right. either that or you are browsing the internet quite a bit. I'm actually a virgin. So you browse the internet a lot? A little bit. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. <laughs> Does sex scare you? The act isn't the scary part, it's sort of the repercussions. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 18 yeah. because I was concerned about repercussions, like the whole like you could have a baby kind of deal and I was not going to sign up for that. Right. So I can kind of understand where you're coming from. It was nice meeting you. It was nice meeting you too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Tell okay. me about you. I work in the software industry. Nice. And I like doing theater. You like doing theater? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Do I look like a virgin? I don't know what a virgin looks like. Mm. I very clearly don't know what a virgin looks like. <laughs> I honestly think I might be better at guessing that if I were just snap, like, guessing. Mm -hmm. Am I a virgin? Yes? Uh, no, I'm not a virgin. See, I suck at this. <laughs> yeah. 
but I have not had sex for a long time. Gotcha. In like seven years. I felt like I forgot how to date. So um, <sighs> that dating scene is weird now. Strange. Yeah, do you have any advice for me? Uh, the best advice I can give you for meeting people is just go talk to people. Yeah. Because you're charming, so. Thank you. Nice to meet you, It was Ruby. nice meeting you, too. Hi. Hey. How would you define your sexual orientation? I like women, but to make people comfortable with trying to understand me, just lesbian, or if they mm -hmm. want to call me queer, I don't care. As long as you know I like girls, not boys. Mm -hmm. Does knowing my sexual orientation help you? Just Embarrassingly me? enough, I could not guess whatever orientation you were. Really? Really. Surprise. I always assume that it's blatant. <laughs> I grew up in a school where we were taught to ask like what your preferred pronouns are and what your like preferred orientation is. You know, mm -hmm. I guess the environment I grew up in was a mm -hmm. little more close. It was yeah. kind of like you're black or white, you're yeah. either or. Mm -hmm. well, I hate to make this so black and white, mm -hmm. but has Love C had sex or not? Yes, you're not a virgin. Okay. Why? You seem very confident and comfortable with me, so. All right, go ahead and reveal the answer. I am a virgin. No. <laughs> it just kind of worked out that way. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. I wanted to do it. Yeah. I wanted to get out of here and, you know what I mean? <laughs> bang, bang. But <laughs> it just didn't happen mm -hmm. to work out that way. Yeah. Now I'm, like, taking my time. I'm not as in a rush for mm -hmm. it. But I definitely do mm -hmm. at some point. Thank you for sharing with me. Thank you. Tell me about you. Um, I like to dance, I'm fun, I'm in school, that's boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you date? Hmm. Not currently. I have before, but I don't right now. Ruby, does she look like she has sex? <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like I have sex? You look like you have sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's your like persona, you're very like, oh. Well, hello. Do you think you give off those vibes? I don't. I'm very awkward, so I don't I know. I wouldn't describe you as awkward. I would describe you as maybe the opposite side of my coin. I'm a dominatrix. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you actually have sex when you're doing that? Or? I do not. Why is that? Because I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, I like that. Do you think you know? Say you're maybe not a virgin because you said you dated before. I'm a virgin. Gotcha. <laughs> yes, big virgin. I think I've gotten every single one of these wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, why are you a virgin? Well, at first, like growing up, it was a religious thing. Gotcha. Now that I'm older, I just came to the understanding that I like physically can't get anywhere with anybody if I don't have a strong connection with them. Mm. So, yeah, it's important to you. Yeah, it's so, important to me. It was really good getting to know you. Likewise. How old are you? I'm 18. What do you think? Has she had sex? <sighs> no. Oh, you're just gonna go right out? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm not sure about any of these because I don't know what virgins look like and I don't think anybody does. I know, but you so, said no for a reason. I mean, you, you are a very innocent looking <laughs> person. That's, that's very fair. <laughs> are you a virgin? No, I am not. Are people surprised that you're not a virgin? I think yes. My dad is from Yemen and like mm -hmm. I did grow up with like his perception of like sex and age requirements and all this other mm -hmm. stuff. And so I did have that pressure, but like I recently have come to the terms with like, I think it's a social construct and like mm -hmm. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Just be safe. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. As long as you're safe and it's consensual, mm -hmm. then why not? There you go. Tell me about you. Oh, um, I am 32. What's your sexual orientation? I am gay. Do you own any sex toys? Uh, no. Really? Why, why are you shocked by that? Oh, I'm always surprised when people don't own sex toys. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> why is that weird? Because I own so many. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Do people proposition you a lot? Not at all. Are you implying that you don't date? I'm attempting to date. How are you going about that? I'm on the apps. Uh, That's a terrible way to date. I know. Uh, Tinder, Hinge. Why not Grindr? I feel like that is an app that is focused towards one thing and one thing only, and I want, I want the whole thing. I'm more interested in companionship. Yeah, I'm gonna go, maybe you are a virgin? You are correct. You got one right! Hey, Fitty! Congratulations! <laughs> Why, is it a choice? Um, I was raised Christian. I'm also gay, so that was kind of an interesting thing to kind of compromise. Yeah. Um, I started trying to date at 28, and that it's, a little difficult. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
It does, from what I hear, get harder to date as you get older, but, but you're handsome, you'll be fine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Raise your hand if Ruby got you right. <laughs> Yay, Ruby got one person. <laughs> Did you learn anything today? Uh, that religious background plays sort of more of a role than I would have anticipated, but I don't really have a lot of experience with religion personally. Is sex important? Um, I think intimacy is important. And for a lot of people that means sex. Thank you for being <laughs> so honest with us and yeah, good job. Okay.